Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. A great show ahead, among other things. We're going to be talking antiques. We'll talk about the return of Disney on ice, but we start with some music. Um, his name is Maddie. He is well known as Graven. Uh, we're going to catch up with him in just a minute, but here's one of his wonderful songs. By the way, he's going to be playing live here in the Ottawa area very shortly for you to enjoy some live music finally. Here is Years by Graven. come back for you i know you probably want me to i know that this time is different i know this time ain't infinite i'm known as the outreacher a soft place to land but never a preacher you were so far over the line you could use a sip of the holy spirit wine guess that you had a hard life but you don't get the right to use that truth like a knife so hard to please everyone that part of me is a setting sun growing thinner like cellophane over a TV dinner. Stretched out and not much there. You can only touch it with delicate care. You've been living in a rumor spin zone. I've been busy building a home. You demonstrated time and again you don't deserve my time or to be my friend. Guess that you had a hard life, but you don't get the right to use that truth like a knife. What you're up to I really don't care as long as you're doing Maddie McKechnie, better known as Graven by his fans. He's got a brand new album coming out February 25th that he joins us here on the show. Maddie, so great to catch up with you again. Uh, let's talk about that new album. Tell me about the, the new album and, and what people can, can expect from it. For sure. Thanks for having me, Derek. Um, yeah, the new album is called Simple Complex, and it comes out fully this Friday, but I've been releasing it bit by bit online. Uh, so I think there's six, yeah, six songs now that are out out of the eight uh, that people can listen to on my Bandcamp page, and then you can pre-order the album there. Uh, it was recorded in in not Halifax, Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, just across the uh, the water uh, at Joel nice. Plaskett's studio called Fang Studios, and um, it was done over a span of seven days. I had to really get it done in a short amount of time, so that added some pressure to it, but it was uh, amazing to see it all come together and lots of people played different parts to make it uh, come to life. And yeah, it's really just about the, the simplicity and the complexity of everything, I guess, you know, love, life, relationships, a song, you know, all, all of it, yeah. uh, I think, contains those two elements. And, and the first song that you've recorded as a full-time musician for viewers that, you know, did not see our pr previous interview, I 
it's pretty unique in that you became a full-time musician during the pandemic. Just tell us a little bit about how that happened, how that came about. For sure. Um, so I was working a few different jobs and with COVID, they all just sort of dried up for different reasons. And and I'd sort of been uh, pushed or had friends encouraging me saying, you know, you really should do the music thing or try to do it full time. And I was doing these online shows on Instagram where people could come and, you know, leave a tip or whatever. And, and, and those started going pretty well. And there was a nice little community of people. And so I thought, well, maybe I could just do this as my main thing, maybe pick up some work, you know, in other places. But um, yeah, that was just over a year ago. And it's amazing to think that I'm a full time musician. And uh, it's, it's crazy to think that, but I'm very grateful and really, um, you know, thankful and, and blessed to be able to do you know, after working jobs for so many years that weren't really yeah. aligned with my skills, it's amazing to do something where you feel like, you know, this is what you're, you're meant to do. So it's, it's pretty awesome. Well, and you get to do what you were meant to do in front of a live audience. Um, you're, I'm sure like many artists, like all artists, you're craving that. You've got a couple of shows coming up here in Ottawa. Tell us about them. Yes. So um, March 18th is the album release of the, the new record simple complex at irene's and that's uh down in the glebe as everyone knows and it's um a lovely spot and i've loved playing there over the years my friends still winter hills are going to play and that's on uh, march 18th the friday so you can buy tickets for that online through my social media or wherever and then march 26th i'm playing at um, the dominion tavern with a guy named Eamon mcgrath who's a real up-and-coming songwriter Excellent. he was just done Maddie, i hate to cut CBC you off but run out yeah. of time but want to remind everybody no the dominion tavern march 26th irene's march 18th we'll be back with more after this 